squirrel candy. That's what I've been feeding my LPS lately. You can get it at Aquarium Care Center, and you can get more information about it at CoralCandy.net. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I prepare it for dosing my tank, I guess you could say, or spot feeding the actual coral themselves. So with this container, they don't really give you uh, instructions on how much to put in the tank. So what I've been doing is, is I just go by how much, or, you know, how many coral I'm going to be spot feeding. So for my tank, I use about a little over uh, a teaspoon and I like to prepare it, you know, a thicker consistency. So what I do is I take a syringe and I fill it with tank water. And this syringe is kind of cool because it has a little curved edge on it and it helps me feed like the babies that are underneath the bigger polyps. So what I do is I just, you know, get my little mix there, shoot, shoot the water in there. And uh, I kind of let it dissolve as for as long as I can. And what I always like to do too is feed the fish first because the fish do do go crazy over this if you got fish in there that are pigs they'll go after it as you're feeding your coral so definitely recommend trying to get your fish full before you use this stuff they just i don't know my hawkfish and my chalk basslet they go bonkers over it and try to rip it right out of the coral's mouth so you know get a good consistency um unfortunately this is a brand new syringe so i forgot to cut the tip off so this feeding in particular wasn't a, a thicker as a consistency as I normally do. Um, but you can still see here, you know, in a minute that they still go bonkers over it. And um, so there's the syringe. It's nice and full. And that's all I use, you know. So then this stuff right here, when I'm done, I just pour it in the tank. You know, I put some water in there and just dump it in the tank, let it go crazy and free float around in the tank a little bit. So um, I shut all the flow off to my tank and you can see here you know this video this this one right here is not sped up but you can see how it just drops in there and as soon as they sense it and it hits their little sweepers that's it they just go bonkers over it um this a can in particular is just completely surrounded with baby heads and then this one here had a little bit of a glare on it but you know with the t5s everything gets a sunlight to it but look just just watch how as soon as it hits them, boom, they just attack it. Look at that. This is not fast forwarded. Um, you know, they uh, they love it. They they close up pretty good. They absorb it and they eat it. And that's it. I haven't seen them, you know, spitting anything out that they didn't like. Also, I like to feed my uh, trachees with it. This guy here, I mean, he's definitely gotten a brighter green to him since I've been using the... Um, coral candy and you can see here he's just slowly starting to suck in and then this next clip I did fast forward it it was a two minute clip and I think I brought it down to like I don't know 10 seconds or something whatever it may be but you could just see this is within two minutes completely closes up it's like it doesn't want any of that stuff to leave it wants every last drop of it so um, then here's my big fat rainbow trachea this guy is another one that really, truly loves it. Uh, he's always hungry. Um, and uh, I, I usually feed this guy two to three times a week. Um, Mysis is the other diet that he gets, but he likes this coral candy just as much as shrimp. And then my uh, little rainbow acan selection here. I got three rainbow acans that I'm super picky about and I get super nervous about. Um, and I have not seen any side effects except for growth uh, and happiness uh, and good color. They're definitely forming, you know, more babies uh, daily or weekly, whatever you want to call it. I can't say daily because I can't really see underneath of this thing. This thing is pretty huge. You can see it next to that. The disc right to the right of it is an inch and a half disc, and this thing is just a monster. I had to put it on a flat piece of rock as a frag plug instead, because it's just, it's a beefy A-can, what can I say? And then, uh, I did already feed my fungia over there, and then, look at it, it just, they all just, as soon as I hit them, boom, suck it right in. This guy here's got so many heads on it, there's probably like 30 on this thing, believe it or not, and so this I just spray like crazy let everybody just get a little little grip of uh 
the coral candy itself, but all in all, am I happy with it? Absolutely. Look at them. They're happy with it. So if they're happy, I'm happy. Definitely getting good color and good growth, like I said. Um, as you can see here, look at all these babies. Uh, this one here is just, look how tight it is. It's just, look at them all. All that thing's completely surrounded with babies on it and they love it. Every, you know, the, the adult polyps, I guess you could say, the babies, they all love the stuff, you know? And like I said, look at this rainbow in the back here. I get really nervous about, you know, what I feed my coral. But when it comes to this, I don't get nervous at all. Look at them. Look at them. They look, they look totally different. I'm going to give you guys a little top view here. Sorry for the reflection. Um, you know, I, there's nothing really a whole lot I can do with the T5s except for like completely zoom in on everything like this. But look at, look at how tightly packed they are. Um, just munch, you know, just eating. Just absorbing that stuff. I like to see corals close like that when they close like that after spot feeding them you know they're happy so hope you guys enjoyed this video again i'm going to leave the uh link to aquarium care center's uh availability to get this stuff and uh, leave me a comment let me know if you guys have used this um and if you want to try using it uh, but i'll see you guys later